Hey guys, this is SB and welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world and as always first things first We're gonna be adding a new fish to the fish tank and today's fish is a red plum stripey So we're gonna go ahead and head down these stairs and we're gonna get him added uh, added in and swimming about with all his <laughs> With all his fishy friends. So yeah, we're we'll going open this gate perfect. How are my fish doing? Ah, not looking too bad, are they? I mean, looking a bit thin. On okay, they're all over it. I was about to say they look a bit thin on the ground, but to be honest, there's a lot of fish. They're just they're just not up there for some reason. Right, let's uh, let's chuck him in there, and there he is, red and plum, looking uh, looking good, looking stripy. I can't even get out of it now, can I? There we go. Looking uh, yeah, looking stripy. Is there another one up there? It's a similar one. I don't think it's the same color, but very similar, isn't it? Oh, there's what? No, wait, is there one there? No, similar colors again, <laughs> but not the same. Okay, similar but not the same. So we'll uh, we'll go now on to the more important fish of the day, the reward fish. So we'll go and see Fred and uh, and see what today's challenge is going to be to uh, to get that. So we'll go around here, and uh, yeah, we'll head through this door. And <laughs> yeah, I said last episode something about I'm no monster. I won't leave these uh, these foxes tied up forever. Well, I'm leaving them a little bit longer just because I don't know if I'm going to need them for, for anything else like to breed any more foxes. So for now, I've, I've left them. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, you look like a bit upset that I've not let you go, but you'll you'll get over it, I'm sure. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go and, uh, and press this button, head through the security system. And uh, yeah, well, <laughs> now we're about to go through security. We're going to get scanned. We're going to be allowed through. Perfect. That's exactly what you want. There we go. The scanner's working well. All right. Get me eye scanned. Lovely. Being let through there as well. Good stuff. Good morning, Sean. How are you doing today, buddy? Not interested, as you can see. <laughs> as usual, to be fair. Right, let's uh, let's put you in another another stance. There we go. Hold that uh, soul sign proudly. Look how proud he is of that soul sign. Moving on. Good morning, Miles. How you doing, mate? Miles away, aren't you? Turtles, are you plotting your escape again, Mel Marvin? I don't know. <laughs> He's always up to something. And good morning, Fred. How are you doing, mate? Today's challenge is... Well, this looks a bit brutal. Kill a fox. Well, okay, that has a totem of undying in its mouth. Okay, let's uh, let's do that then. All right. Um, so I'm pretty sure if you uh, if you take out a fox that has the totem of undying in its mouth, it should survive. Um, but if if this goes wrong, it could be very very sad indeed, couldn't it? Um, yeah. So <laughs> we'll see. I suppose we'll see how this uh, this goes. So first things first, I'm gonna go and get a totem of undying. What is that? Is that a, is that a horse over there? What are you doing in there, horse? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah, so we'll go and find a, uh, a totem of undying. We'll go and chuck that on. Uh, well, we'll give it to the fox and then we'll take it out. Which fox am I going to do this to? I'm going to feel really evil doing this to any fox. But I think I'm going to do it to one of my pet foxes. Hopefully they don't mind. So we have loads, as you can see. <laughs> totem of, totems of undying galore. We've got a couple there. We got any over here? No. What are you doing here, Millie? Can we get you out of here? There we go. Come on. Oh, you just sit straight on the chair. All right, if you want to be behind it, far be it from me to uh, to stop that, okay? I understand. I uh, completely understand. So, yeah, let's go and head across to uh, to where my foxes live, which is... Is it... Yeah, it's across the uh, the river. I mean, I haven't built many things across the river. I've built a drowned farm because I had no choice because there was a mob spawner there. And I've also, yeah, got a, a little fox home. So, I suppose I'll slowly extend things over the, over the island, you know, because I've kind of built everything on this very central island reservation. And now, yeah... I'll, uh, well, I'll start building things. Yeah, I like this set, this little, uh, the way it's built as well. Look at that. I think they like it in here. They've got a nice little home. All right, guys. And they've got loads of berries to eat. They've been eating berries left, right, and center. Don't escape, Kit. No, I saw what you were trying. Okay. Now then, which one of you is, go right, I'm going to throw down the totem of them down. Whichever one of you picks it up, you're eating a berry, aren't you, right there, little, uh, little guy? He's eating it. Which one? Okay, you've picked it up. All right, Kit. I, I really love you. Okay, I'm going to feel really bad doing this. But... Ta da You survived and lived to tell the tale. That would have killed you, but as you can see, they've got the uh, the regeneration effect on you now. Good, good stuff. So it, it works. <laughs> it didn't, didn't take you out. So yeah, I uh, I said last episode, give me names for uh, for these foxes, and I have got the names. Well, already we had Kit. Okay, I don't want grown yet. Yeah, uh, we'll chuck those in there. As you can see, I've uh, I've got some chests in here because you know might as well have uh, have berries. All right. Uh, so yeah, I've got Kit. And uh, I've also now decided, and this is, n I, could, I can't name one person that gave me this name because loads of people came up with this name. We've got Cat. So then it's uh, Kit Cat, which I thought was a good idea. Loads of people had the idea, like I say, not just one person, so I can't, I can't single anyone out to say thank you. But yeah, Kit and Cat. <laughs> Kit is a boy and Cat is a girl. Okay, that's, that's how I'm doing it. And in case I forget, which I might do one day, there we go. Kit is a boy, cat is a cat. <laughs> you got to remind yourself of these things. And all the chickens have grown up. They're laying eggs everywhere, as you can see. Um, so, yeah, we could always get some more chickens in there at a later date. But 
See you later, foxes. All right. Oh, I kind of want to take you with me, though. Yeah, no, you know what? We're just going to have to... Not today, all right? There's, there's more, there's, there's more, you know, important things to do. I've got traveling to do. I, c I can't be taking foxes with me. But that would... I would like that. I would like to take a fox with me. That would that'd be quite a cool uh, a cool thing to do. So let's go and... Uh, we're kind of taking a little back route, aren't we, to, uh, to go and get myself my uh, reward fish now. Well earned, okay? I'm actually not hungry for it right now, am I? And then uh, we'll crack on with what we're going to be doing today, which is uh, getting an, a new mob that we've never had in my world before. So this is going to be uh, exciting. Um, should I let these foxes go? Uh, go on then. Be free, little foxes. Be free. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah, you don't deserve it. No, they're gonna, they've, they've scattered quickly. They're both going opposite directions. I don't know. Anyway, that, that'll, that'll make them a lot happier. Oh, you're just there. Okay. <laughs> oh. Ah, a reward fish here. You, you distracted me from collecting what was most important to me. Got that. Perfect. All right. That's all of that nicely done. So now <laughs> you've just gone to sleep over there. <laughs> Fine. You know what? They're, they're happy. These wild foxes are happy to live in uh, in the world. So I'll go through to auto storage, which I need to extend at some point. I've just never got around to. Um, yeah. So next, what I need to do is enjoy my reward fish. Delicious. And we're going to go and grab my elytra. That's the next thing on the agenda. So we're going to get my elytra. Uh, fire rocket. I might as well grab that extra random one as well. Um, I'm going to my trident uh, with channeling on. That's going to be important. And I think that is everything there. Okay. Uh, I do also want to get a few uh, a few things to use. I, I don't. Let me have a think. Tell you what. I'm going to get the the mushroom. I'm, I'm so I'm I'm going to have to travel to where this mushroom is, and it's it's quite a few a few thousand blocks away. And my plan is to then um, bring it home because for some reason I did have three mushrooms at one point. In uh, in there, but for some reason there's only one at the moment. I don't know where the, the others have gone. I mean, I've got a sheep that thinks it's a rabbit. I've got rabbits that think that they're chi chickens over there. A rabbit's just like the stupidest animal to not rabbit, sorry. Sheep are the stupidest animals. I've got a sheep that thinks it's a chicken over there. Sheep are the things it's a rabbit. Sheep just the stupid animals. Anyway, let's uh, <laughs> let's fly over, okay? So uh, yeah, to get yourself a brown mushroom, uh, probably a lot of you are aware of this, but maybe some of you aren't. Um, they were adding the recent update. Oh, I wonder if we can. Oh, it wouldn't be handy if a mushroom spawned on it. Oh, we do have one. Do we have one in it? I did at one point. Oh, we have a few. Oh, we could we could save ourselves a journey actually. Oh, I didn't think about that. Ingenious. Okay. Um. So yeah, basically, uh, mushrooms are. Yeah, if a mushroom gets hit by lightning, then it creates a brown mushroom. Now, yeah, I didn't realize there's, there's loads that have spawned on it, which is is quite handy. Although to be honest. I have got to wait for a thunderstorm before I can do this, so it probably makes sense that I uh, I fly far away and have a little look just to pass the time because I'm you know I'm not going to stand here for the next half an hour or whatever, um, or, or however longer it could be or shorter till a thunderstorm happens. So I might as well journey to another mushroom, another mushroom. I I don't know. It's stupid. I, it's, yeah, what a stupid idea that is. I'd have to travel. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm just going to sit in the house and uh, wait it out. I think I think that's probably going to be the uh, the best thing to do, isn't it? Sit in here. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> wait until, uh, until it starts thunder and lightning. And so at long last, we have got the thunderstorm that we need to create these brown mushrooms. So, uh, well, mushrooms, <laughs> let me, let me get that right. So are they still all about? Have they wandered off somewhere? Okay. You're down here now. All right. Now then it looks like that's your parent or is that your, do you know which one is your parent? To be honest, you don't seem to care, but it, maybe you're both the parents. So I'm going to look for another, <laughs> another one and see if there's, uh, there's one up here. Um, Hello. Okay. Now then, I could just wait for you to by chance get hit by one, or I can uh, speed up the process. So if I just throw it there, no lightning spawns. But if I throw it at you, don't take this personally, mate. <laughs> I didn't think it would kill it. Oh my goodness! I'm just gonna be killing all the mushrooms. Um, don't tell me it's gonna kill you as well. Oh my! <laughs> I've got a trident that's too powerful. I'm just, I'm just slaying. Oh dear. Um, wait. What's, what's on it? Impaling, channeling, and loyalty. I mean, I thought impaling only affected water creatures. Okay. I've got to do something a little bit smarter then. All right. Um, what if I? Okay. <laughs> I don't think this trident would be that powerful. As you can see, I've not tested this out before. So, here's what we're gonna do. All right. Because obviously, I, you know, I, I have, I have always got a plan. C. So uh, we're going to grab one of these mushrooms here. We're running out of mushrooms fast, aren't we, to, uh, to test this on, aren't we? Um, yes, yeah, so if I go and grab, uh, move you to there. Thank you. Uh, move that, move that. And then if we grab a mushroom and take it over by another mob, and if we hit the mob with... Yeah, yeah, this is a perfect plan. Okay, right. Don't, come on. Don't delay. Come on. 
Stop taking so long. You can get up there. I know you can. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the mob. So instead of hitting the, the, the mushroom with a trident and then getting it by lightning and basically just getting destroyed, you know, by that, we're instead going to hit another mob next to it. Okay, that's that's the master plan here. Okay, watch and learn. All right, pig. You're also, uh, you're, you're, you're the one that's going to be, be chosen, okay? There we go. Oh, we got a pigman as well. Well, that's a two-in-one if you ask me. How are you doing, good sir? Yeah, good to see you. Enjoy, uh, enjoy life in the overworld. As you can see, we have, um, we have lovely weather here for the time of year. So, um, yeah, we've, uh, we've got a moose room. All right, let's go and, uh, yeah. Have a little munch on. Oh, no, I've got that stupid, uh, stupid effect. I'll, uh, I'll go and get a... Do we have do we have milk in here? I usually do serve milk in here. None there. No, nope, just buckets of water. Who wants to buy buckets of water? Souvenirs. Oh, milk. Okay, perfect. Empty. <laughs> Empty. I can't get milk from this cow either, can I? Okay, it's probably just going to, like, give it back to me straight away, but I just hope for the best here. Yep, it just gave it to me straight away. All right, and uh, that uh, that mushroom's not following me either. Okay, come on. We need to... Uh, we need to bring you back home, mate, all right? You have a home here. We're going to take you, and then we're going to be breeding mushrooms. We're going to be... Okay, I hope you don't get hit by lightning again. I probably should give you some health or something like that. Uh, yeah, we're going to be breeding mushrooms. We're going to be doing all sorts of stuff, okay? But uh, before any... Well, we've got suspicious stew as well. That's another thing on the uh, on the agenda, isn't it? But yeah, first things first, let's let's get you home. So I've now got this brown fella over here. I, I think the best way to get him in is just going to be to break my way in. Oh, still got this mining fatigue business. Well, I forgot about that. <laughs> any, uh, any cows about? Okay, I'll just better go and, uh, tell you what I'm gonna do, right? Because this rain is driving me crazy as well. I do not like rain. All right, I'm just gonna put you on there. There you go. Stay tied up. I'm gonna go and sleep and hopefully the, uh, the rain ends because, yeah, I'm, I, I just don't like rain full stop. Okay. Um, and then we'll get some milk. We'll be sorted with that. No problem at all. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just get rid of this thunderstorm, hopefully. Um, yeah. Okay. To sleep we go. Hopefully it, uh, that ends it. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. You just you just never know with this, do you? But hopefully we wake up and it has stopped. And the answer is... It stopped. Thank goodness for that. Okay. <laughs> right. So now I'm going to have to go and, uh, and grab myself some milk from... Yeah. We're going to grab it from one of these cows. And then we will uh, we'll do all the things to suspicious stew and all of that, of that with this guy. So are you trying to escape, mate? I knew it. But you know what happens to, to cows that escape? Yeah. Let that be a lesson to all of you. Yeah. All of you guys include... How is there an egg in here? And what... Again, a sheep that thinks it's a cow. I mean, it's just a never-ending thing. Okay, right. We drink the milk. Good stuff. Let's, uh... Let's now go and... Get you, uh... Get you inside here. In fact, I'm gonna go and grab some, uh, Some wood and some bowls and stuff like that. I've got a, a few things. I also want to get some flowers. Um... So... Let's go and nip to the chest room and, uh, and grab a few... Uh, just... Uh, yeah, just some wood. I guess that's the only thing that's gonna be down here. I... I... I will need flowers, but... I only need a, a, a certain few, so I think is there. So look, yeah, I only I need some dandelions. Okay, um, I do need oxide daisies, but I don't think they're anywhere here. Um, or blue orchid, but I don't think they're in there either. Are they? So we'll we'll leave that. We'll just grab ourselves a load of uh, jungle wood, and from that we can make ourselves some bowls. So I right, make about four. I made forty. I meant to make ten. Didn't mean to make forty, but. Ah, you know what? Whatever works for us. Whatever works, works, okay? And, yeah, I'm gonna go and find, uh, some, an Azure Blue, And also, uh, maybe like an Oxide Daisy, something like that. So I'm gonna go and have a look, uh, out here for some. So I've managed to find these right here. Perfect. So we'll grab, uh, we'll grab a few of these. So these are, are, so basically, like, <laughs> if you give these to a, a brown mushroom and then milk it, or stew it. <laughs> it gives you suspicious stew. Okay. Oh, is this, is that, I thought it was a slime. It's just a creeper. Yeah, it gives you suspicious stew, which is um, a really rare sort of, uh, well, it's, it's a kind of a cool little thing. So with suspicious stew, depending on the flower that you give it, it gives you different effects. You don't know what it is until you drink it, unless you know what flower you gave it. So if we give it an Azure Blue Way, which I, to this day, I still don't know if I'm actually saying that right, but that's how I, I say it. Um, <laughs> then that will give you Blindness. Now, that is actually the only way to get blindness in survival. You can get it from an illusioner, but they're not actually in the game properly. I think they're, they're I don't know if they're spawnable and with commands or something, but they're definitely not properly in the game. So, yeah, this is like the first time I'm going to actually experience blindness in my world, isn't it? So that's that's kind of a cool little thing. Um, yeah, we're also going to get one that does uh, saturation for us, because that's going to be super good for not having to eat. That's going to be quite a, a handy one. 
Uh, I did want an Oxide Daisy, Daisy that would have given me regen, but at the same time, I'm not too bothered about uh, about that. So let's just get you in here. Okay, I bet this this other guy decides he's gonna gonna escape, isn't he? All right, in you come. There we go. No gates apparently. <laughs> and then we'll go and put that back. Perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know why this has gone to grass. It, it seems to be if it's not in sunlight. Although in here it's fine. But for some reason over here it uh, it turns to grass. And even though I've I've changed it back to my ceiling, it still does it. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some. Well, let's first uh, let's first test this out. So, anti a blue way to you, as you can see, has it got little particles coming off it? We can only feed it one. Okay. And you'll notice it only lasts for one. So if I go like this now, I got one suspicious stew. All right. If I then go and do it again, we just get a normal mushroom stew. Suspicious stew, mushroom stew. So what we're going to do now is we're going to give ourselves blindness. Oh, cool, isn't it? I mean, what does it last for? Seconds. But still, it's cool that we can actually have blindness, like, for the one and only way of only time on uh, on this world. So uh, on uh, on this, yeah, in survival. It's really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, otherwise, you normally I need commands and stuff. Where's, where's all my wheat? Did I put it in here? Yeah, okay, perfect. Um... Let's just grab all that and we're going to be breeding these guys getting because uh, okay so with this when we breed them it's gonna be a 50 50 chance could be a brown one could be a red one okay let's have a look and we are going to get a red one of course it's a red one i want a brown one but i'm not going to strike you with lightning little fella don't worry so another thing you didn't you may not have known is i'm going to feed you loads that's it eat eat and be happy there we go you've now grown <laughs> yeah another thing you may not have known is that if you Breed two red ones is like a one in a thousand and twenty four chance of getting a brown one If you breed two brown ones is a one in a thousand chance a thousand twenty four technically chance of getting a uh, a red one So that's that's just a little random fact that you probably didn't care about um, right What I'm also gonna do is now I'm gonna give you a dandelion. This is gonna give me saturation A, a saturation stew, which is I thought that was a kind of that's, that's I mean that makes it like the best food source in the game I think because if you have saturation as well as full hunger, then you you know you're, you're doing well. So you can only eat suspicious stew when you're hungry. Um, so we're just gonna have to do a little bit of running around. So yeah, I think mushroom stew was already a pretty decent thing. But if I now eat this, and yeah, saturation, it, it gives it for like a second, but it, it gives you more hunger bars. Which because if you didn't know, you have your hunger bars, but you have like ten hidden hunger bars above that, so it like fills those up a bit as well. Just a shame you can't eat suspicious stew when you're not hungry. The only thing you can eat when you're not hungry is chorus fruit. So if you didn't know, if you eat loads of chorus fruit, you'll, you can get your, your saturation up to the max, which then means you'll just regen so quick if you take damage. Like if I went to half a heart, I'd, I'd regen all the way. And you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove that to you because I feel like some of you don't believe me. So um, let's get some chorus fruit. Okay. <laughs> this, is make, this is what makes chorus fruit useful. Specifically in PvP, I would say. Okay. So if I just eat loads of chorus fruit, okay. I'm not sure how much hunger it actually does, but I can keep eating it as you can see. I kind of like this as well. I can, I can, I can go and explore the area. As you can see, we're on the roof. Not every day you get on the roof. All right, fellas over there. Um, <laughs> it's going to take me anywhere else. So I'm going to eat I'm going to eat all of these, okay? I, th I think it might be just one hunger bar per thing, but as I've had 13, it's going to take me it's going to take me all the way, isn't it, okay? And uh, we're going to see where we end up. But then I'm going to try and like get my health down really low and you'll just see how quick it regens all the way. Like normally, you know, it regens a few hearts and then its saturation goes down, but because you have absolutely max saturation, it it works better. So, are you ready? So now we're going to jump off i guess we jump off here okay i had feather falling which means and it's not even regenerating that quick but it did regen fairly quick like it, it pretty much did it instantly but anyway i will have to eat for a bit now that's uh, that's, <laughs> that's my theory okay um yeah so that's that's me brown mushroom sorted i don't think i need to uh, really cover anything more with that so now i've got something else to show you over uh, in penguin towers something else i've built um so yeah well we're gonna go and have a look at that i'm gonna show you that um, so uh, there's a bit of a story behind what I've, uh, what I've built here as well. So in June of last year, I was asked, I was contacted by a charity called the Starlight Foundation. It's a bit of a sad story, by the way, guys, just, just, it's, it's, it is a very sad story. So, um, yeah, I was, I was asked by Starlight Foundation and they, uh, contacted me to go and see someone called Nathan, who is uh, a, a fan, a, a big fan of, and uh, a viewer. He lo watched loads of my videos and, um, he... Unfortunately, he had a, a really rare form of cancer, which um, was terminal. So he was, he was only 10 years old. I, I, don't, I, I think he, he'd had it for a, a year or so, maybe. I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, so, yeah, so I went and uh, visited him, went down to see him. We spent an afternoon playing video games and, and stuff like that, which was uh, which really fun. Really, really nice, uh, nice person. Uh, really nice family as well. 
Um, yeah, so that was that was uh, I, I was really glad to uh, to do that. We had a nice time, and so that was in June. And then, unfortunately, in August, towards the end of August, he uh, he did pass away, which was obviously really really sad news. Um, really really uh, yeah, very sad. So I said I would uh, devote a build to Nathan in my world, in uh, in memory of him, and uh, he did love building minecart rides and roller coasters and uh, and all sorts of things like that. Um, so he even showed me his roller coaster he built, which was really really cool when we played Minecraft together. So yeah, I've uh, I've built something in commemoration. This is uh, the roller coaster I've built for him. It's like a heltery skeltery kind of thing. It goes up, it goes down, and uh, we're gonna ride it. So as you can see, it's uh, it's dedicated to Nathan Nathan Jolian. Chappelle, I think I said that right, Chappelle maybe, uh, so yeah, so that's uh, it's dedicated to him, and uh, we're going to give it a ride, guys, so uh, I need to make sure I go the right way when I do this, which I think this way, and uh, yeah, we're going to uh, we're gonna see, so it takes you up very high very quickly, and then it goes back down, bits of ups and downs, I mean, I don't build enough roller coasters in my world, do I, I need, I need more of these in, uh, in my world, so um, I'm going to go along here, a bit of piston work here, you ready? Da -da. I'll show you that a bit better. <laughs> we'll go around it again, Dory. It takes you up to the top, drops you down a little bit. It's just lots of ups and downs, and then you go back down, back up. And this is actually one of the best ways to see my world as well. This is like definitely the tallest point in Penguin Towers. I don't know if, if it's even taller than my lighthouse. So this may be like the best way to, uh, to get a good bird's eye view, and then it brings you back down a little bit, and then back up. And we see the sun setting over there, and back round to the end. And then we can go back round again if we like. There we go, and... Uh, we can ride it as many times as we like. Yeah, definitely need more of these roller coasters uh, in my world. And uh, <laughs> it's fun building it as well. So we'll go around here. And yeah, I'll show you the little uh, piston mechanics a bit better. So you drop onto here. Uh, detector rail uh, goes like that and pushes you out. Perfect. And then back round we go again. And uh, yeah, you get a nice little uh, nice little view of the whole uh, the whole Penguin Towers. Which, yeah, I think is <laughs> it's, a, it's a really cool way to see the uh, the whole park, isn't it? So... Yeah, every time I uh, ride this, I will always think of Nathan. Every time I see this, I'll think of Nathan, with uh, without a doubt. So we'll go back around here, and uh, it's going to take me all the way back to the beginning. And there we go. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope that uh, Nathan's family do like what I've uh, what I've built for Nathan. And, um, yeah, I hope they're all okay doing it as well as, uh, as well as they can be. So thanks for watching this video, guys. And, um, yeah, do leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time.